Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the San Francisco Hard Assets Conference. I have Ross Orr of Backtech Environmental, BAC on the CNSX, and we're going to do an update. Ross, welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Okay, so uh, let's get back to Backtech. Let's get back to Backtech. Yeah, we're um, proceeding with our uh, bioleaching project in Manitoba. Uh, we basically will hopefully will be building later this summer. We're just starting into the engineering phase right now. And uh, we're going to have our little bacteria, you know, chewing up uh, sulfides and locking up arsenic. And uh, it's a project we're doing for a government. So the deal is we clean it up and we keep the gold. Son of a gun. I love that model. I've always loved that model. So how does it look i mean when we when we ask for an update you know you 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 it's been a couple of months something's happened what's the progress the progress would be i would say that we've uh, we're basically at the final stages with the the definitive agreement with the government that outlines you know what the what how the whole process is going to work we're going to actually pay the government a 2% nsr uh, which is fair. I mean, they've been babysitting the project for 10 years, uh, but there is arsenic and acid dripping out into the local lake. So the idea, though, that we can keep the gold for ourselves, and there's probably at today's price is about $160 million of the gold in the pile against a capital cost of about $22 million for the plant. You know, it's, it's a nice project. It spins off a lot of cash for about seven years, but more importantly, we'll end up with a plant in an area uh, of the Greenstone Belt of Manitoba where they've been mining for 100 years. So there's, there's tailings all over the place. So, so the story doesn't die in seven years. It probably goes on for another 20. And once you have the success that you expect, there's a lot of people going to come knocking at your door. Yeah, governments especially because they don't have any money. So the idea of doing something for nothing is very appealing to them. Uh, not so much the case in the private sector because you know their liability 10 years ago is now an asset and the, and the old greed factor is alive and well but you know sooner or later we they, they look around for alternatives for treating arsenic and there aren't really a lot out there so they come back uh, our next project or the next area we're looking at is actually just due east of here in, uh, in the old mother load district of california where you know 160 years ago all they mined was arsenopyrite and so that mess is still there and the, and the current miners in the area, small miners, are producing arsenopyrite as a byproduct, and someone's going to have to process it for them. You know? And not only that, but the environmental issues in California are the most paramount in the entire United States. Absolutely. You know, that we've noticed that here at this conference, that people that come around are coming around because it's an environmental story, not a mining story. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's give you a website out. Uh, backtechgreen.com. Backtechgreen.com. That's B A C T E C H. Green.com. Ladies and gentlemen, stay in touch. Watch this one. This is one of those kinds of companies that you don't expect what they're doing to be as big as it really is. So watch it. Now it's backtechgreen.com. Russ Orr, thank you for coming on to My SNN pleasure. Live. Good My to pleasure. have you. You bet.